everyone, my project's name is Protecting the Skin from Within, a study on the methods of reverse engineering sunscreen into acting as a defense factor while utilizing its antioxidants and chloroplasts to increase the rate of mitotic division in somatic cells. Although skin health and beauty are considered one of the principal factors representing the general well-being of skin, the majority of changes that occur in human skin cells are age-dependent. Over time, the dermis is known to lose 20-80% to 80 of its thickness and elasticity, sufficiently reducing one's physical appearance. The collagen in one's skin becomes more difficult to recycle and takes way longer to generate. By utilizing pig skin, I plan to test possible factors that could increase mitotic cell division and or maintain the health of the skin. I will be testing several sunscreens to determine how well they protect the well-being of the skin surface. Now, my ultimate goal of this project is to utilize the nutrients of the chloroplasts, uh, more particularly the sugars, to design a product with sunscreen that benefits one's appearance. The sunscreen should complement my ideal product by encouraging health and hydration in the dermis. The hypothesis, the hypothesis that was later generated in my research uh, is, if I create and apply skin product with the byproduct sugars of a chloroplast from photosynthesis to human skin with ATP sugars from cellular respiration, enzymes, antioxidants from sunscreens, and deoxidized cofactors to our skin cells, then that these elements together will result in an overload of energy in the cell, which will speed up the process of mitotic division by producing more collagen and cutting off a greater amount of apoptotic skin cells. In accordance to the data found in the numerous amounts of women undergoing chemically invasive or euthanizing procedures, only in the U.S. these sets of experiments will help confirm or deny the theory of natural skin renewals with the help of chloroplast byproduct sugars as well as cellular respiration, all working in accordance with sunscreens to preserve moisture and protect the skin from damage of the UV rays. So what I did in my research is I had my first set of experiments out of five sunscreen types where I took the averages of the ones that penetrated the skin and it's all in decimal format and you could see over here that the copper tone sport and the banana boat SPF 30 uh, produced to be the less uh, the least amount with the penetration of the UV rays and then I did two more sets with the copper tone and the banana boat SPF where the banana boat SPF proved to be the ultimate chemical sunscreen that is the best one to use out of the averages of four trials and what I did after that is I conducted all the um, all the materials in that sunscreen and I used all of that to recreate my own type of sunscreen. And that's kind of what I've been focusing throughout the past two years. And that's where my research is going and is headed. And I think that it's a good thing that I have conducted these trials and I have seen which sunscreen actually is the best one and plays the best role in uh, helping my later product be the most efficient in producing less amount of bad skin cells and producing a more amount of great skin cells. Thank you.